Hello everyone and welcome to Mr. Smitty's YouTube channel. Over the last few weeks I have instructed my students through tutorials of how to create chess pieces. We started with a pawn, we worked through a rook, a bishop, a king, and now it's time for them to show me what they've learned by creating their own original chess pieces. I have posted a video showing my students how to download and operate Screencast-O-Matic, which is a free screen recording software. I want, I'm gonna, I want them to use this software to demonstrate the skills that they've learned in Google SketchUp for Schools as they design and 3D model two original chess pieces. In this video, I'm going to go through an exemplar of what I expect them to actually do. So I'm going to demonstrate the process of them walking through and explaining what they are doing all the way until their finished product, which is a screen recording of them modeling their chess piece. So let's jump right into it. All right, so I've already got Google SketchUp for Schools pulled up, and this is where I expect my students to start. I'm going to open up Screencast-O-Matic. Again, this is a free screen recording software, and I've already posted a video that demonstrates how to use it. Once you've got Screencast-O-Matic pulled up, you're just going to click Record, and it's going to launch um, the screen recorder. All right, so this is actually the screen recorder here. So I need to move my webcam real quick, so I'm going to do that. All right. So as you can see in the bottom right here, there is a secondary webcam. I have a second webcam up uh, just to demonstrate what the students will see. So they should see themselves in the bottom right as well as their screen. They need to double check. So students, make sure that you have double checked that you have your microphone is being registered here and that you see green bars as you talk. Um, you can decide whether you want to turn your computer audio on, but it is not necessary for your screen recording. All right, so once you are ready, you're going to click record. It'll give you a countdown, and then it's go time. It's time to make your video. All right, so I'm going to walk through an example of kind of what I expect as far as the descriptions of using the tools and the different procedures that we've gone over as we've created these chess pieces. So here we go. When you're ready, press record. All right, so three, two, one. Hello, my name is Mr. Smith, and I am going to be showing you how to create an original chess piece in Google SketchUp for Schools. Right now, I am on the Google SketchUp for Schools directory page where I can manage my different files and I can create a new file. So to start, I'm going to go up here and go to Create New and make sure I pick Feet and Inches. All right, so I'm going to click that, and then it's going to load into my workspace. Here we have Temple Grandin which is basically just a model to help us um, reference what, what certain heights and dimensions look like. In this video, I'm just sculpting, so I'm not really worried about dimensioning, so I'm going to remove Temple Grandin. So at this point, I'm going to start the process of designing my own original chess piece. I'm going to do something a little different. Um, so I, I am actually going to make a pawn um, as my first chess piece, but I'm going to add a little new design to it. So I'm going to start by taking my circle tool and I'm going to draw the base. So I take the circle tool and I click where I want the center to be and then I click again and then I see that I have a 2D circle. I'm going to use my push pull tool which will give it depth in the Z direction to pull it up and now I'm going to add another circle on top. I want this circle to be in the center. So I'm, I'm using what's called inferencing to find the center of this circle. I'm going to draw my second circle and then repeat the process with push pull. So at this point, I have created a base for my pawn. So now I'm going to double click. I'm actually going to triple click and that will select the whole base and then if I right click and go to make group now I have a group. What this allows me to do is I can use my move tool and press control so if I toggle control um, it will turn on and off the copy feature. So right now the copy feature is not on so it just moves the base if I press control and then click on it it creates a copy. As I said, I'm going to make two original chess pieces, so I needed two copies of the base. 
So at this point, I need to just do my design for my pawn. So I'm going to grab my line tool and I'm going to draw a plane that I will be uh, completing the design on. So again, I'm going to inference the center. But wait, I don't want to make a mistake. I got to make sure that I double click on the base and this black dotted box lets me know that I'm actually editing the model and not drawing on top of an existing group. So I'm going to take my line tool, all right, and I'm going to find the center. Well, I could actually just do it that way. It'll snap that way. Now I'm going to set the height, set the height of my pawn to right there. Then I'm going to complete the rectangle. Well, I'm going to complete. Well, I'm having issues here. All right, so students, if you have issues as you're creating your model, um, you know, you can exit out and start over or just, you know, work through it. You know, this is a demonstration of your knowledge. So if you do run into issues, it's not a huge deal. Just kind of work through it. All right. So I'm going to set the height for my pawn. Once my height is set, I'm going to finish drawing my plane. And oh, okay, that's why I'm not at see there. I was not clicking the endpoint, so I was messing up. If you were having the same issues, I've done this like 300 times, and for some reason now it wants to mess up. All right, here we go. Double click, I grab my line tool. I find the center, snap to the center, there it is, line over, I set the height of my pawn, now I finish drawing the rectangle to get a plane. Alright, not sure what was going on there guys, if you stumble through it's fine. Alright, I just, I need to see your knowledge, so if, you know, just handle it how I handled it if that happens. Alright, so now I have my reference plane. So now that I have my reference plane, I'm going to actually draw the design of my pawn, but it's going to be half of the design. So it's half of the design because I'm going to use the follow me tool to actually rotate around. All right. So for my pawn, I'm going to add, you know, a few extra just little things um, just to make it different and unique so I added a circle a half circle just to added this half circle just it's almost like it's a double headed pawn so it's got the little head on top and then a head right below then I added a collar by drawing a rectangle I also need to bisect my circle so that way I can cut this piece off so when it revolves around the axis I'm not left with um, extra solid alright so at this point I'm gonna take my arc arc tool on the keyboard the arc tool is a if I want to use the shortcut and now I'm going to click underneath my collar and then go find this bottom left corner alright so at this point I've drawn the body of my pawn so now I'm going to take my line tool and I'm going to draw a second collar like so. At this point I need to get rid of any lines that I don't want to revolve around the base when I use the follow me tool. So I'm going to grab my eraser and I'm going to delete all the outside pieces like so. Now I'm going to go inside my profile and I'm going to delete all the inside pieces. Right, I'm going to do that on this bottom collar, inside piece, inside piece, inside piece. And now I'm left with the shape of my pawn that I want to revolve. So I'm going to use the follow me tool, which is this tool here. And I'm going to take my cursor and I'm going to select this bottom ring. This profile is going to revolve around this ring to create a solid. So I click the ring, then I click the follow me tool and I click my profile and it spins around. 
My model actually looks pretty good. I do have a couple geometry issues here and I can just delete those. This is just where the revolution left it with some unsure pieces. So it tried to fill them in using this line, but if we just click and delete, we can remove that geometry so that it looks like a more solid piece. All right. There we go. So now we have our pawn. And at this point, I can go over here to the right and I can open up the appearance tools. And inside the appearance, I can pick a material. Under 3D printing, I can find uh, one of the different types. And I can color the different pieces. Or if I triple click, it'll highlight the whole object and then I can color the whole object the same color. All right, so that is just an example of what I've learned doing Google SketchUp for schools. I've gone through some of the tools that I've learned and how they are used. Thank you for watching my video. So at this point, I would click the pause button down here in Screencast-O-Matic. I'm gonna click Done and then click Save. So the student should save their video by going here to go to save as, give it a name, so pawn piece, and I would include your name, so Smitty, and then tell it where to save it. So desktop is gonna be on the desktop, that main screen, and then you can click publish and it'll go through the whole process of saving it. So for this, uh, you know, this video is just an exemplar. I even messed up in it, gave you a good example of how to recover. Um, but what I am looking for when I go to assess these videos is that you know the names of the tools, you know their functions, and you can actually create an original part model based off what you've learned over the last few weeks. All right, as always, please reach out if you have any questions. And uh, if you wouldn't mind, just take a little bit of time to like, subscribe and share and I will see you next time.